This is Chuck Carvel. I'm the Chuck of the Markets Up Chuck. And, you know, gold is very hot right now. The price is at an all-time high, and there's obviously a lot of people buying gold. But, you know, at, when asked about gold, one thing I like to point out to people is that, you know, if you, have, if you buy an ounce of gold, for example, that ounce is all you ever have. It never splits into two ounces. It doesn't uh, pay off any dividends. Your investment merit is totally tied to what the price of gold is. On the other hand, if you look at some gold-producing stocks, um, they're businesses like any other business, and um, you know their merits are going to be based on what earnings do over time. So I'm going to take a look at some of the major gold producers today uh, and see what the price and the effect of um, you know the value of gold today has really had on their stocks uh, in the short run, but also try to give you a perspective of what the long run looks like. The first is Barrett Gold, um, symbol ABX. I want you to notice that the earnings of this company for the past 15 years or so have been very inconsistent. Um, again, the testing of the you know, the fact that gold is a commodity, stock prices kind of followed that. Um, over this 15-year uh, period, the investment returns on Barrett Gold have been, you know, kind of consistent with the market, 3.3% appreciation versus 41 in the market. Um, so, you know, this hasn't been a great hedge against the market. However, it has paid a, a fairly decent dividend, although very small, relatively speaking. But Barrett Gold does pay a dividend. But I do want you to notice that it's currently trading at 24 times earnings, and that's a relatively high uh, price earnings ratio. Not the highest PE it's had, but it's a relatively high pi price earnings ratio uh, for the company itself. The next um, company I want to show is Gold Corp. Um, little, um, still has very inconsistent earnings growth, but a little more consistent. Has a little stronger growth than Barrett Gold. Has no debt on the balance sheet also pays a small dividend. And I want you to notice that the price rise here <clears throat> has been dramatically different. This has been a good hedge. It's averaged almost 20% a year uh, versus 4.1 in the market during the same time frame. <clears throat> it has paid some dividends also, somewhat sporadic, um, a little bit increases, you might say. But once again, I want you to notice, I want you to take note of the price earnings ratio. It's trading at 53 times earnings, which is obviously a very high multiple. Um, and I guess the question I'm asking you to ask yourself is, do you want to be an investor today? Do you want to be a buyer of a gold stock today or sell? Now, Yamana Gold, a Toronto-based um, gold um, producer, um, trades at a more reasonable 14 times earnings. I'm not sure really why. I don't really follow gold stocks. But I do want you to notice the track record here has been quite excellent. Um, I'm sure it only has an eight-year history. But I want you to notice that it's averaged almost 34% when the market's done, you know, virtually nothing. So, you know, there maybe there is some gold in our heels, as they say. And then um, take a look at another company, um, Kinross Gold Corp. I want you to notice that um, earnings here, again, have been, you know, very inconsistent and erratic. The stock price was very high back in 1996, and it fell from 31 all the way down to a dollar, a dollar 12. Uh, before rallying back up to over 21 today. But once again, I want you to notice trades at a very, very high price earnings ratio, um, pays an extremely low dividend, but pays, you know, trades at a very, very high price earnings ratio. And the last company I'm going to show today is uh, Raingold Resources Limited. I want you to notice the price earnings ratio of this company trading at 122 times earnings. Um, again, not real great earnings growth, somewhat inconsistent over the years, very, very small dividend yield. Um, has had a great track record, um, you know, over the last nine years. Uh, averaged almost 55% during a period where the market's averaged 1.5. But I do want to again point out the fact that this, you know, the run here has already happened. And uh, as I said in the, uh, as I say at the end of this blog, you know, the danger with running with the herd is your ultimate destination is the slaughterhouse. And so the question is, is this the time to be buying gold stocks or is this the time to be buying gold? Um, do your homework and answer the question. Uh, but I do my homework before I, um, you know, invest. That's Chuck Harvath saying thanks for listening. Hope you enjoyed this perspective on gold.